Hi, my name's Tom. I enjoyed going out with my mates, socialising and drinking. I also like playing football. I'm doing a teaching PGCE and I've decided to move back home with my mum and my little brother. At the start of the year, I decided to post a video on Facebook and that's when everything changed. People look at me and they instantly think, oh, there's nothing wrong with him. He's fine, he's laughing and joking, he's got friends, he's popular. Nobody literally knew at all what I was going through. I'd literally lay there in darkness, just thinking, what am I still doing here? What's the point? I can't do this anymore. <sighs> mental health illnesses can affect everyone. One in four people will suffer with a mental health illness at some point during their life. It's that common. There was always something in the back of my head that, were, that just wasn't right. My mental health really started to suffer when I joined university, so my first year, moving away from home, leaving my friends and family. You've gone from having your mum do everything for you to having to wash your own clothes, cook your own meals, pay your own bills, and then obviously the workload at university, it's a lot harder than sixth form. It's so much responsibility that's just suddenly shifted onto you that it's quite hard to cope with, really. A bit getting good grades at uni, I'd be socialising, I've got friends. But there was always something where I, I just felt so alone within my own thoughts and feelings. So then I had my breakdown, I couldn't take it anymore, I tried to kill myself. I managed to go back home and I was going to talk to my mum but I couldn't. The feeling of wanting to talk to my friends and family was a very daunting one. It didn't feel like I could do it, I didn't want them to then think I was weird or different. I didn't want to ruin my friendships, my social status, and maybe lose my girlfriend at the time. A footballer called Gary Speed passed away and there was a lot of stuff going on about mental health. Most of the stuff they were saying, it started to click. And I started to think, wow, maybe it's not just me. Like, those same triggers, those same feelings, I'm feeling that. It made me feel more comfortable to actually reach out and get the help. Whilst I was at university, there was support networks there, but they weren't very visible. And the only time we really heard minimal information about it was at the start of the year. The messages that came from the video that I posted gave me a massive rush of self-pride. My whole body lit up and it's something I want to keep feeling. This dark part of my life, it's not going to determine who I am. There's endless possibilities that you can achieve with a mental health illness. It doesn't make you any different to anyone else.